Hey, this is Robert Davis coming back at you. Um, last tutorial we discussed uh, creating a database application with uh, Microsoft Access and using um, Delphi as the development tool and connecting to the Microsoft Access database. In this one I'm going to show you some of the greater potential. It's not necessarily going to be a how-to. You'll get some tips, but uh, it's going to be primarily show you a way around a, an application, a, a fairly large database application. So let's get started. Here you see this is the application in the raw in the Delphi design time. Um, the we've got our form name. We've got our main menu. Got the panel here to show a full name, date of birth, and family name. We got the DB Navigator here to navigate our records. And then what comes up first is the edit form, the main form. Um, and there's more than one ways to do that. Here we have a data grid that has all that information. And the third page has the notes field that's a, a real lengthy. You can type pretty much all you want in there about the notes about that particular member. So we're back to the main form. Now let's look at the main menu. Exit that does exactly what it says. Edit, copy, cast, paste. The database here, we can refresh it. And then we can order by so far. There will be more, but so far, this is what you can order the, the uh, records by. Then we have a simple list report, a record per page, and eventually we'll tie in the report builder that the end user can customize. And then we have a help menu where we'll put our about box that has pertinent information about the overall application. Um, <clears throat> down here, we have a status bar with two panel items in it. And that's where on this uh, first panel item, we show the uh, record what of how many. And here we show what state the database is in, what, what it's ordered in, what it's ordered by. Okay, let's go ahead and start this and you can see what's possible. Uh, here's our first record, you notice down here right away it's ordered by date of birth. And I have a few fictitious records in here that you can see and this is a record one of 27 based on the order of date of birth. Here's the full name, date of birth, family name. And then um, we can also view and edit that on the um, day grid. Let's put in a, let's see, Curtis May Tipton, and he's from Tallahassee, Florida. And we'll put in an email address, fictitious. And we'll, if we scroll off that record and come back to it, you see it's saved. It posted to the database. Let's put in a note about Curtis. Curtis me tipped in was a very good old army bucket type buddy of Mine in Germany. 
Germany. Okay. And uh, let's see, do we have any with notes? No. Go back to the data grid and the edit form. The notes field is so large that it has to have all that room for you to be able to type. Um, and it has word wrap, so it won't go beyond the right border of the of the uh, memo edit. <clears throat> um, and we can refresh. That simply deactivates and reactivates the uh, ADO query for uh, our SQL. Um, let's look at report. Here's a simple list. You see everybody's on here. 27 records. And it covers four, pa four pages total. Yeah, here's the last record. Okay, and let's look at the record per page, which I'm still working on. There's a lot to one record per page for such a large database, but it's not unusual to have that. But you've got to do a lot of drag and drop, and <laughs> the report builder itself is very uh, intuitive. And well, let me just exit out of here and I'll take it to it. Uh, we've got to look at the data module where the reports are stored. Let's just look at report one. Double click. There we go. And you see the labels and the field names in a master data band. This, uh, this is all done by a wizard, um, a software wizard for the report. And um, it's much easier than it looks. It's, uh, there's just a lot to this screen, but you'll get used to it over time. Um, this is the uh, FRX report builder, Fast Report 6.0 that I'm using. And we'll exit that. Uh, the T data set, it simply uses query main as its data set. Uh, that's this right here. So you don't have to write any more uh, database development on that. And uh, you can ignore this. You can't. You can't reassign the color um, when you use the project styling that we use. Let's uh, let's change that just so you can see how it's done. You go to project. Last menu option is <coughs> is uh, options. We'll look at appearance and let's see what do we have selected so far. Oh, obsidian. I'm going to change that to silver. I like silver. It's very pleasant to look at. We'll save that. Save all. And run it. There you go. Here's the silver uh, motif. Comes up in order of date of birth simply because. I changed it to that on purpose to uh, put fictitious records first in, in the tables. So, and again, you've got the data grid, which you can add, edit, and delete from. Then the notes field, you see our notes still there. It posted to the database like we asked it. <coughs> I'm having a little, uh, we'll make this arm, arm, armed forces Europe 
and this too. Anyway, um, that's how much you can get into a database application. And this really only touches the top of it, uh, tip of the iceberg. You, know, you can do so much more. And uh, in later tutorials, we'll go on to linked tables that have master tables and detail tables for all variety of things. Um, you see, for instance, just for instance, you have the ability in the um, edit form and the day grid to change all this or, or input all this information and edit it or delete it. Uh, what we would do in a relational consideration is if you check deceased it would give you a dialogue that you could put in the rest of these fields. Uh, the and the dialogue would be to a link table that had the deceased fields in it, not the main table. So that cuts down a lot on their storage requirements because not everybody's deceased yet, of course. So uh, anyway, that's that's the beginning of what a fairly sizable database application can turn out to be. We don't have a help something yet. But um, that'll give you a brief introduction to some of the possibilities that you can do. Uh, I like the lookup field, but it's giving me trouble. Um, we want that. Uh, it's giving me trouble. It's showing through these different pages. And the only two that don't do that are these two. So you see the rest of the states are uh, just data edits, regular data edits, not lookup fields. So there you have the start of a pretty cool database application using again Microsoft Access. Um, we use the MDB database file format as it's very common and very common use out there. And we use the Microsoft Jet 4.0 OLEDB driver. So uh, stick with me. And if you like this tutorial, please like it, share it, leave a comment, ask a question. And I'll get right back with you. Again, this is Robert Davis, and you guys have a great evening. Thank you.